Okay, in this video I'm going to be showing what is available in the Premium Animal Crossing New Horizons Notion database. So, we're on the home page, we can input our island name, our town through, our friend code, etc. So, let's just jump into the databases now. So, the first one is the villager database. So, in the Premium version, every single photo is available for the villagers. And there are several views that we can look at here so we've actually got villager posters as well so if you want to see what they look like and we also have the villager house exterior so that's really exciting um and as you can see we've got a checkbox here that says dreamy so when you tick checkbox on a dreamy they will appear in the dreamies gallery so there we have agnes um same thing so not same thing so another way we can use this is the uh table view so here's just all of the information about the villagers so we just have like species gender personality hobby catchphrase and then we've got kk song and i've related this to the kk slider music database so you'll see that in a second um favorite saying we'll see if they're a dreamy or not We've also got some amiibo information here so this shows us what um, amiibo series they're from what number they are and then you can check off here if you've got those amiibos and then they're the photos so let's just have a look at the so yeah so this is the amiibo series one so here we are sorted by amiibo card number just to make it a bit easier for you um, and again, anytime you click one of these checkboxes, it will affect the views. So here we have Bob. Um, and then if I want to change anything, I can just go in here and, and check him as a resident. So yeah, that's a really quick overview of the villagers database. At the top here, we have like a little navigation bar. So rather than going to the homepage, we can always just travel along here. So this is the insects database. So We've got it in the Northern and the Southern Hemisphere um, views because they are available at different times of the year. Um, so here we have the gallery view. So this is all of the available insects. And then we have different monthly views. So you can see which ones are available in January and that's going to look wildly different to June. <laughs> So yeah, as we can see, um, there's a lot of information here, what time of day you'll catch them. Obviously, if you go through the different months, then you don't have to worry about when they're available. And then we've also got what weather you'd find them in, where, spawn rate, the descriptions, just loads of information basically regarding the insects. And then we've got basically the exact same thing, but for the fish. So let's just look at the fishing gallery view because that's kind of cool. So yeah, here's all the fish. Again, same thing as the insects. We've got all of the information about what time of year they're available, when to catch them, what their shadows like. So these are the January fish. And again, we've got that available in the for the southern hemisphere as well. And not to repeat myself loads but we have the sea creatures so that again is exactly the same as the others but now we've got the sea creatures so there's less sea creatures to catch but yeah cool and then we also have the fossils so we have the fossils in table view but we can also view them by gallery view so yeah just to see what they look like um and then in table view we also just have what fossil group they're in what museum room they'd be in and then as the same as before like need and catalog so as you tick them off in your encyclopedia they'll disappear from the need table view next we have red's artwork database so these photos are available in the standard version as well so in the previous ones you wouldn't get them in the standard but you would get them you would get these in the standard version so we have all the paintings here with their genuine and their forged 
And then we also have all the sculptures, again, genuine and forged. So always genuine means that, that there is not a forgery. <laughs> and then need, as you start to tick them off in need, you will no longer see them. So you'll just see the ones that you need to get. Let's just go back and change that. Cool. Um, so KK Sliders Music Database. This one's really cool, I think. So we've got all of the KK songs. Oh yeah, and then, so like I was saying, again, these photos are only available for the premium, but as I was saying, the in the villagers one, we have a villager top 100, which is just a bit of a joke. But um, anyway, so I've just done like a roll up to see how many, um, like how many villagers love each song. So apparently if a song is their favorite, it's the song that will play in their house. So yeah, some of the songs are not favourites, but oh well. Um, but yeah, I just thought that was a cool thing that you can do with relations. And hopefully in future updates, there'll be more relations in this database. Um, and then we have DIY recipes. So this is crazy. I have always wanted to make this. But anyway, so we have, there are literally so many. I'll just show you. So we have... 472 DIYs and these are not including the seasonal so we have a separate database for seasonal DIYs so these are the ones you can get basically all year round whereas the seasonal ones are obviously they are determined by what month of the year it is and what dates it is but again we can view them by different series um and also later I'll get into that in events because there's another view of that so you can see it by um, the time of year. So next we have reactions database. So this is just to keep track of which ones you've still got left. I like this because you can see which, um, like which ones come from which villager type, if that makes sense. Oh, I haven't changed. Right, let's just sort this out. There we go. So you can see which is from which villager type. And then we have custom design codes. So this one's fairly st like standard. This is just for you to fill in for if you want to keep track of which design codes that you have. And we have a similar thing here for the dream address tracker. Um, so that's just if you go on ACNH tour a lot and you want to keep track of which islands you visited and whether you give them rating or something. Next, we have events. So I've labeled these as guides because they're less interactive, but that was before I started adding more stuff into them. So here we have the events list. Again, Northern Hemisphere. Well, actually, so you can see all the details, but the month filters are specific to the northern hemisphere but yeah these are basically all the events as of the current filming time um <laughs> that are available in new horizons and then we have the seasonal diys by month so this is using the seasonal diy database but we've now got views set up for what month of the year it is as opposed to just the different series so now you can see kind of what will be available when um, and there's a slight overlap, so these appear in February, but not at the same time. But if you look at, so let me just, if you look at the seasonal materials database we have here, we can see that the young spring bamboo starts on the 25th of February for the Northern Hemisphere, the 25th for the Southern Hemisphere. Um, and we have different views here. So if we just want the dates for the hemisphere that we're in. So yeah, like I say, there's a slight overlap, 25th of February here, but also 24th of February there for the snow. So that's why they're in the same one. And then we've got the star fragments. So that is just literally when you can get each fragment. Then we have the shrubs guide. So this is literally just a guide to show you what's in season when or what's in flower when so we have the northern hemisphere dates but we also have southern hemisphere and table view um so yeah and then we have again 
these are available for standard and premium but most of them are just available like this one is just available for premium as in the photos so i really like this flower guide it is so much better than the one i had before so we've actually used relations within the same database so this relation property relates only to this table usually you'd relate them to another table but i think it works pretty well for um this guide because you can say you're looking so let's say we want to breed the black rose we got to click red roses how do we get a red rose from the seed bag or by the way it's a lot it's a lot of a it's a bit more of a basic version but let's say we want to get blue pansies i need to pick one that's actually got like a hybrid there we go so blue roses how do we get a blue rose by breeding two hybrid red roses how do we get a hybrid red rose by breeding yellow roses and hybrid pink roses so there's a bit of information for you um and yeah and then it's also viewable by flower type and then we also have the nookmiles achievement guide this guide is just like i say it's a massive data dump um and it's just kind of there for you to browse through one day if you fancy but personally i don't really use this but it's there if anyone wants it then we have the relocating buildings guide so this just tells us how big different plots are when we're moving around um buildings and i've just basically taken it from this photo here so it's just a really basic guide then we have the construction counter guide so this is a lot better as well from the initial release so we have we have a big gallery view and it shows us bridges inclines and then all of the housing customization options so we have like doors for example all the doors you can get all the mailboxes and then it tells you like when you're available to get them but if you have your house fully upgraded you can get all of them so yeah and then like I say bridges and inclines as well and then we also have the fence guide so this is just all the fences available as DIYs <clears throat> Yeah, and that's basically everything. So that's what you'd be getting for the premium Animal Crossing New Horizons database. I'll just quickly show you what the difference between the standard is. So here we are in the standard version. It's pretty much identical on this page, but as we can see, the villager database is a lot different. So we have the Dreamies gallery, but it's up to you to put the photos in, basically. And then we have the same for the insects. So it's just without the photo options. This is what the villager premium database looks like. So we've just got, essentially it's just the villager database section of the main workspace so you've got all the same views with the amiibos as well all the same information but just just this database in case you didn't really care for the rest of the workspace okay yeah so thank you for watching this video i hope this helps when deciding whether this is a product you would like to purchase thank you for watching